Welcome back to my garage. My name is Carlos Moro and today we're gonna lift all four wheels of my car off the ground. It has been a while. My last video was uh, what six months ago. My last proper video where I, I showed you how to change the brakes, how I change the brakes. Today I'm, I'm changing the front brakes but first I need to lift my car off the ground and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it, uh, you know, the whole process. So today is kind of a part two. My first video, which was about a year ago, uh, was about lifting the car, but that was just the front wheels, how to lift the front wheels, because I was doing, uh, I was installing the, the, the grill screens uh, that protect the radiator, so I only needed, needed to lift the front of the car. But since then, after that video, I ended up buying uh, the, these guys here, the ram stand. I actually talk about this during my first videos. I'm not going to explain again uh, why you need this, but yeah, go watch that video. I'm not, I'm not also, I'm not going to explain all over again the, the basics of lifting your car and you know, this all the safety measures and all that. So, you should watch that video first and then come watch this one because I'm going to go straight to the you know, doing, doing, the, doing the work and not explain the basics uh, again. But yeah, I did talk about this during the first video, this, uh, the safe jack, uh, ran stand, uh, is one of the options you have, it's not the only uh, option you have to, to lift the four wheels of your car, but this is the one I chose because, it, you know, it, it was one of the uh, cheapest options, but also they are local, I like to, you know, it's nice to support local companies and they, they make this in the state of Washington where I live. Also, I, I'm really pretty happy with the product. I, I'm not I'm not affiliated to them to them in any way, but I'm I'm pretty happy with the product so far. You know, when you get a product and you take it in your hands and you feel it's well made, it, this is one of those those products, and it really works. I'm gonna show you uh, in a second. So the w the way it works, you put this on on your jack. The jack goes like here. You have this adapter, which is specific for Porsches and also work for Teslas. So you, you put it here. If you have a, a car that is more a, a more a regular uh, jack point, it comes, it comes standard with this. I haven't used it, still in the, still in the, the plastic. But this is the kind of car that has that uh, jack point that goes like a, 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 a ridge like this. And then you connect like here and then you, you put push up but this, this won't work for Porsches so they have an adapter which is extra by the way so you buy this the Porsches have you know as you know it's a, it's a hole and then this connects directly to the hole right there um, it, it apparently works for Teslas too so it, it connects to the hole and then it becomes secure and then you, you push it up this goes like here right and then um, and then you put the jack here it connects to the jacking point here. I'm doing a lot of this moving here. I think maybe I'll have to cut this. I don't know. <laughs> but it goes to the jack and then you push your, your car up. And then after that, you connect the legs. When, once the car is up, you connect the legs, secure the legs, and then you can drop it down and then it stays on, on, on top of the legs. But I'm going to show you exactly how, how I do it uh, in a second. So that's the REN stand. It works really well. I'm pretty happy with it. What else? Just a few things before we actually go and do it. This is not the only way to do this. There are a lot of different ways to, to lift your car uh, all four wheels off the ground. Some people do it from the cross member on the suspension. If you don't have a rent stand or any solution like this. Also, this is, uh, this is not the right way. This is not the only way. It's not the right way. It's my way of doing it. I developed my own process. The idea of showing you this is not to tell you, hey, this is how you should do it, but just give you an, uh, you know, one data point, one extra data point for you, so you can figure out what works for you. The, the way I, I developed this process is, I, I first read the manual of the car, you should do that, right? <laughs> Always read the manual, uh, it, you know, know where the jack points are, what the Porsche is telling you. Then I read a bunch of REN, REN list forum, uh, are, uh, there's, if you search for jacking your car up in REN list forum, you'll find like more than 20 articles about this. So it's like a lot of information, a lot of good people out there trying to help, right? And then I watched a few YouTube videos because you know, when you read something, it's not always very clear. So when you watch the YouTube video, you know exactly like the, like you have a visual of the whole process. After I did all that, then I bought my equipment. I bought um, 
you know, the jack, the, I have the Escos, which I use for the fronts. You only need the rim stand for the back, right? You don't, you don't have to buy four of these, you have to buy only two. So I have the Escos, which I used for the fronts. In the first video, I have the rim stand, the jack. I also have the, um, some uh, uh, um, a ramps, to just to lift the rear of the car a little bit, so I can um, uh, slide the jack underneath. You might not need the, the, the ramps, uh, depending on the height of your car. My car has the sport suspension, so it sits a little bit lower. But if, if your car is a little bit higher, it just barely doesn't clear, which, is, which was actually very annoying for me, and so I ended up buying this. But you can buy the, the, so I ended up, ended up buying the, the ramps, but you can probably do without the ramps, maybe just a piece of wood or something, you know. So yeah, that's what I have. So uh, I've been talking for 10 minutes, so, so let's, let's do it. Um, let's do it. So I'll, um, I'll move the camera over here and I'm gonna talk to the whole process so you can see that I already set up kind of the things uh, in the place here to speed up the process I have the jack already uh, placed here I have the wrench stands ready I have the escos ready to, to slide underneath the fronts there with uh, with the hockey puck on top and uh, um, but first thing, if you're gonna remove your tires uh, after lifting the car, it, it helps a lot to just loosen up the, the, the bolts a little bit before you do that because, it, you know, not lose completely, but just a little bit. So it helps, um, so it helps to remove after you lift the car. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so that's that. I just loosened up a little bit all of them. So now we are ready to to lift the car. So let's start. First thing, first thing I'm gonna leave this here. See if I can show you this. We're gonna put this here like that perpendicular and then we're going to slide underneath make sure it's set to the lowest setting we're going to slide until gonna slide until you see the jacking point there right there is the jacking point then once that's aligned you can just lift you see that it goes into the hole perfectly and it has that that ring helps not touch the top of your car there so you see that's it and now we can lift the car and and then we're gonna touch the legs just gonna leave it here so you can see what I, what I, what I lift right there You see, the front is already off the ground. As we lift it back, as we shown in the previous video, the the front also also goes goes up. So 
So how much do you have to lift? I usually I usually lift uh, the, the, the back just enough so I can slide the fronts underneath. You see I, I still not not enough. I have to lift a little bit more. But I, I will just lift usually enough to so I can clear the the escos here and then I I will put the uh, legs and then drop the, the that's how I do it and by the way the escos are set to the, their minimum level now I don't need to raise the car a lot for the kind of work I'm doing I'm just working on the brakes and I'm not going underneath the car so I don't want to lift the car too much so I I set them to the minimum level as you can see there are many uh, adjustments here a lot of holes you can set them actually pretty high um, but I have them to the minimum setting also something I haven't uh, said but you you also want to set the, the legs of the the rear stand to match the height of the escos you don't want the front and the rear you know completely different um, heights it doesn't need to be perfect you know just close you know close enough how are we doing? Uh, pretty, pretty close. A little bit more and I'll be able to slide these underneath. Let's see. Almost there. Let's see now. Let's see this here. Okay, so the way I do it is I connect this and then I I slide that underneath which is almost almost there. I just need to raise a little bit more and I'll be able to slide that underneath. Right, that's probably good now. Uh, almost a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. You see, it's still loose, but totally connected to the. Let me show you. It's connected to the hole there, so there is no way of escaping. And I just align exactly in the middle. The hockey puck helps you make sure your your stands are right in the perfect place uh, and the reason why I do this is because there is no way of not connecting to the hole once I drop the car right it's co totally connected there so now what we need to do is connect the, the legs to the rear stands Let's do that. Make sure it's secured into place by the clips. They connect and they there's no way of them to get it out. The other side. Connect. No way of getting out. And that's it. Now you just now you just need to drop. Let me see if I, I'll leave this here. Show you when I drop the legs. Slowly drop, just slowly. You don't wanna drop like in one go, so just slow, slowly, 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 you see? Gonna connect now. Yeah. And the front is already connected. Yeah, you see it just there we go. It's connected. And then I can drop the completely, remove, 
and now we have the car supported by the jack stands in the front and in the back now I ha all I have to do now is repeat the same process for the other side which I'm not going to show you but it's exactly the same process so simple right it's it works simple process and it works and this is the end of this mo video I'm sweaty oh my god it's getting hot today <laughs> uh, but yeah I hope this helps you develop your own process you know one thing uh, you know I, I'm not doing these videos for, for making money or anything in fact to, yeah, I, I, to make money in YouTube you need a thousand subscribers and I just re reach a hundred I think it will take like 10 years to reach a thousand at this pace so I'm not planning to make any money but I'm just trying to help others like me you know I watch YouTube videos of others that are also helping and this is my way to pass it forward if I can help one person that's enough for me if I help more than one great and some people asked a lot of people asked um, to show you how I do use the rent stands a lot of people meaning one person <laughs> so this is it this is, uh, this is how I use it I'll also record um, changing the front brakes I have the parts here in my garage already it's in this box here all the parts they ha the parts have been here for I don't know two months in my garage I haven't found the time to do it but finally I have to do it because I have the track day next, next Friday and uh, I'll be replacing them and I'll make another video um, with the whole process of changing the last the last the last time I did the brakes the rear brakes I did not show in detail how I did it I only leave it, left the camera in time-lapse but for the front I'm 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 gonna do a detailed video probably gonna be a long one but uh, showing you showing you the, the entire process so hopefully that will be helpful to others too and that's it next I'll uh, I'll do the other side remove the wheels and start doing the brakes but that will be another video that that's that's it for today thanks for watching have fun in your garage and uh, see you next video